Hey, hey, we're back, Coon Prairie Ramblers. We still got it circled. We're we're uh, confabulated, mind meandering. Yes, sir. We got KC, the Moonshine Gang over right there. Here. We got Luke the Rebel without a clue. Here. Yep, he's here. And we got Jane the Builder. Jane the Builder. There, there you builder. go, Jane yeah. the Builder. And like Bob the Builder. And yeah. the amiable, affable mailman, me. Yeah. And don't forget about oh, not your newest forget. member, Yerika. Oh, she's she's been right with us right from the beginning. Yerika, yeah. our producer. She didn't produce us, but we, you know, we. Uh, you know, she keeps us in line. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She keeps us I'm, in I'm line. Getting, I'm getting a little bit. You time. digress. Yeah. Fast. And uh, I'm crashing and burning. <laughs> we were talking earlier about mental issues, mm-hmm. and made me think about personal. Space. And mm-hmm. all of us handle personal space mm-hmm. in different ways. Our circles of personal space are different. We usually mm-hmm. deal in four different areas of space. You have social space, you have personal space, you have intimate space, and you have public space. You know, public space, you don't even think about those people outside of that yeah. area but when people start getting closer it's uh-huh. social yeah and then, then you personal then you start sweating yeah and then the intimate oh. it's like when they're like right in your face yeah and um and you're glad to get we all have different breath. ways of dealing with it we all have different boundaries boundaries exactly boundaries, yeah. yeah and uh i'm not much of a hug <laughs> mm-hmm I and noticed I, that. I, you never offered me a hug, Casey. No, I never have. I probably never will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, 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 take hugs. <laughs> I take hugs, but I don't I don't go out of my way to give somebody a hug unless it's family. Usually, so you, so like you don't that. freeze up if somebody hugs you? I don't freeze up, but I don't. Mm-hmm. Uh, enjoy. I don't enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Don't, oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't go in for the big hug. <laughs> usually mine is more of a just a. Mm-hmm. Pat on the back hug. Mm-hmm. I'm not the big hugger. You don't have it on the ears or anything. No, I don't. Okay. I, don't <laughs> I don't. I just. It just. I'm not comfortable with it. I mean, just. I mean, I'm not the kind of person that's freeze up about to throw up or something. Mm-hmm. But I'm just not used to it or something. I don't know. I was grown as I grew up. Our family wasn't real. I mean, demonstrative in love, mm-hmm. in, in or even vocally. Mm-hmm. I don't think I ever heard my father say I love you until I was a grown man. Me too. I knew he loved me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And his actions showed me that he loved mm-hmm. me. But he didn't ever like, oh, come here, give me a hug, Kenneth. Yeah. You know, I love you. And I never, we didn't do And that was, and we were raised up more of a, you know, standoff. So that's why you're so standoffish now. Yeah, I guess so. so anyway. No, see, I went the other way. <laughs> yeah. My family was that way, and so now I'm a hugger because I'm making up for lost time. So you yeah. Yeah, were raised, raised the same way you yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. My dad was very, he was not a hugger. He was okay when you were little, but once you got to like age seven or eight, mm-hmm. then at that, if you were the girl especially, yeah. he, he backed yeah. off. And, and, I, and I don't know if that was a thing. He, it's probably because he didn't know how to handle it. Right. And, and, he, and was he wasn't afraid. sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, usually women are more of uh, huggers than mm-hmm. men are. Your mama a hugger, would. Luke? No, we didn't grow up close at all. Mm-hmm. Never, neither, but neither. I'm kind of like you. I'm trying to make up for it. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Did your father ever tell you he loved you when you were a kid? He didn't tell me that ever. Really? Well, he may have when I was real tiny and don't have any remembrances. But in the end, when he knew he wasn't going to be around much longer, he he, he wrote me a note and you know he, he'd give me birthday cards and he'd he'd say love. Yeah, sign and love you. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah. My yeah. dad, my dad is um, he's ninety four now, and he he didn't tell me he loved me until probably I was in. He, he must have been in his 70s. Wow. And it would be because he'd come down to Florida to visit, and then when he had to go back, he wanted to at least say it. But, oh, gosh, he'd crack up, you know, mm. crying just because it'd get, it'd get him emotional because he couldn't, he'd never done it before. Yeah. Yeah. It was like but a at break, least he's like doing a break it now. Through, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It was hard for him. But I know, like, yeah, we all go to the brew crew, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I know that a lot of people, you know, hug at the brew crew, and a lot of people... Shake hands. Shake hands. And I'm just... Pat them on the back. And mm-hmm. I'm just more of a... I, I don't even try to sit so close to people. You know, I don't... Maybe it might have something to do with being a cop, too. I don't know. Hmm. You know? Could be. You're, You're watching out a, for the guy behind you. Yeah, stand off. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't, you don't, let, you don't let people... Stick you, in the back. you don't let people into your area. Hmm. Usually, you, your arm's length is what you... Mm-hmm. Most people don't want to hmm. be... Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
strangers and things like that. Mm-hmm. And then with men, we got a whole different issue. Yes. When you go to a restroom and you're standing at a, a line mm-hmm. of urinal, oh, good night. you don't expect <laughs> anybody. To you don't that? expect oh. another man to come oh, in man. when he's got empty stalls <laughs> and yeah. come stand beside yeah. you to go to the bathroom. Yeah. It's I like, mean, leave me alone, huh? Yeah, well, it's like <laughs> very upsetting. I mean, that's like, hey, what the heck well, here, are you here, doing here? Here, okay, you go into the restroom and there's three stalls. And the guy in front of you takes the middle one, then you're stuck and thinking, well, i got to go one or the other. <laughs> Stalls ain't bad, but you don't want to be using the urinal. Somebody comes up behind you, gives you a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see. Oh. Yeah, but I've never had that happen. I didn't realize you guys had so many traumas. Well, in the oh, man. oh, we do. <laughs> we do. Hey, why do you think we go to the bathroom by ourselves? We don't say, hey, how many of you guys want to go to the bathroom when you, when you get up at the restaurant? Anybody else need to go? I don't think so. So Luke and Jane are basically sharing a mic and they're mm-hmm. having to have a little bit closer oh, yeah. yeah we're we're uh, we're invading we're each other okay. yeah. Right, yeah, we're we're really that we're is that. That. you're within closer the two of you right now than than you would be comfortable with and under normal circumstances right. yeah unless it's for the reason like that mm-hmm. i'm not comfortable right with right that. right well i noticed when i go to when i go to the brew curve if it's if folks are sitting down and I walk up kind of behind them, I'll just touch them on the shoulder mm-hmm. and say, "Hey, mm-hmm. good to see you." That's so they know I'm necessary. talking. And and especially if I'm having a senior moment when I forget their name, because I do that, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah. And but but if they want a hug, they stand up because they know I'll give them one. But if they don't stand up, then I know they're yeah. not huggers. Or like, they're physically disabled. Yeah, <laughs> that could be too. <laughs> well, well, Erica, what about you? Or do you like people hugging you and stuff? Or are you weird about that? I bet, they like, I bet they like hugging you. Sure they do. <laughs> I, I think the other thing, too, about me getting hugged, maybe aged now that I not have the mobility that I once had, is that sometimes it feels condescending to be sitting in a chair. And mm-hmm. not and be I, able to get up. Yeah, not being able to stand up to hug you. Yeah. And, or having a woman lean over. And I'm not trying to be a sexist about that, but having a woman lean down to you to hug you mm-hmm. it feels somewhat uncomfortable a couple of especially I, I if she got that. a shirt loose shirt look maybe you minute. like that one no, i don't know no. I better button mine up here <laughs> oh and that, you know and that goes with the, with the eyes you know to, to, <laughs> it sure does to, well no i like me when i'm talking to them to look at me mm-hmm. i hate somebody to talk to me and be doing like this looking away from me yeah. Well, Casey, what's the most acceptable thing for for you? What, what would you like to high five? Wave at me. Handshake. Just wave. Hey, I, and I got. Yeah. Well, I don't like to handshake people either. So. Oh, you don't wear them hands as many. Man. What about the high five thing? You like the high five thing or no? Bump yeah. elbows. There you go. That's, that's kind of safe okay. right there. Hmm. A lot of people bump n- uh, knuckles. Yeah, yeah, knuckle bump. Yeah, knuckle yeah knuckle that we've done that. Yeah. Oh, what are my friends? Yeah. More of a play thing, and we'll do it. And then yeah. Pow, yeah. Well, yeah. y'all can hug me if you want. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for the invitation. The line form's here. So we better go you should be them. out kissing babies. You know, you're running for office now. That's, that's personal space right there. But I almost kissed one the other day, but it had a snotty nose. Oh, there you go. We got, we got to pay the piper. <laughs> we got to get out of here. We'll be back shortly with the if bombs. And, and not the piper. Y'all don't go too far. We'll be back. And, but y'all hug one another if you feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> hug if you got them. <laughs>